Hi Family Church. So this is day 19 of our corporate 21 days of prayer and fasting. I want to encourage you today to keep going, to be bold and courageous and to push on. Whether you've done all 18 days so far, or you found yourself stopping and starting and thinking, I can't do this. Wherever you're at, it's not about where we started, it's about finishing this together. To push in, to be bold, be courageous. It's like seeing that finish line and the last big push. That's what these next three days are about. This really is the time to lean in, be bold, be courageous, push on and seek God. I have to admit, I've had a couple of things this month happen in my life that caused me to not stumble, but falter with the prayer and fasting. Uh, I found myself starting again twice. Um, does that make me a bad person? No, God knows my heart. And God also knows that after each occasion, it made me more determined to push on. So that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. Just last three days, let's push in, let's go big. I want to read from the start of Joshua. It's the account of where God talks to Joshua straight after Moses has died. And he's telling the Israelites and Joshua to be bold, be courageous. Push in for what God has promised them. What he's got stored up for them. Because he's got things stored up for us. So have a listen to this. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give to you. I will give you every place where you set your foot, as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates, or the Hittite country to the great sea on the west. No one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers to give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Do not let this book of the law depart from your mouth. Meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So just as God was telling Joshua and the Israelites to be bold and courageous and push in for what he had in store for them, for what he had promised them, that's what we've got to do for these next three days, Family Church. Let's push in, be bold, see this to the end and get the reward that God's got for us. I was reminded last week of a saying that basically sums up what my dad taught me when I was younger. That saying was, go big or go home. I just want to read to you the Google meaning of what this saying is. Go big or go home is an exhortation to go all out to put one's effort into an enterprise, to experience something to its fullest, to be extravagant. Go big or go home is a philosophy that encourages one to be bold. Family Church, will you go all out these next three days to seek God, to see what he's got for you, so that you can experience him to the fullest? Be bold and be courageous. Seek him with every opportunity you've got to see what he has in store for you and what he wants to tell you. Stay blessed, Family Church, and go big.